This was a deeply interesting study. It was one of those game theory studies. It was a game a little bit like Prisoner's Dilemma, not exactly the same, but the same sort of notions that you could be very generous in your game playing style, you could be absolutely rationally fair, you could be exploitative, a whole range of possibilities. What these guys did in this study was take scads of people from 40 different countries. No, they didn't. From 16, 19, they took from a bunch of different countries. A bunch of different countries, and just to control for things, all of the subjects were university students. So you're selecting for a fairly homogeneous bunch, both within group and across these different countries. And what they did was they had people play these games, and they had the option for what is called altruistic punishing, which we will hear more about in a little while, which is you have the option to expend some of your resources, your points, your chips, whatever, you can spend to punish the other individual for cheating. And the question, of course, becomes how much are you willing to spend to punish somebody when they've been cheating against you, when they've been stingy, when they haven't reciprocated, all of that. First finding, which is everybody across all the countries averaged out to the same rate the percentage of resources that someone is willing to expend on punishing a cheater. So no particular cultural differences there. But then they identified another interesting realm of game behavior here, which they called antisocial punishment, which is where it's not that you are expending some of your resources to punish somebody for having cheated, it's where you're expending resources to punish someone for having been overly generous. And that pops up in certain sorts of games. It is not terribly common when it's the person who is choosing with their opponent, but when you have a third party, you have no cultural differences at the rate at which they are willing to punish cheaters. But here's where the differences came in, the rate at which people would punish unexpectedly generous players. And you got a big spread. The lowest rate at which this happened was nicely, as it turned out, people from this country, which is kind of nice, people from England, and of course, who else? The ever useful Scandinavians with their powerhouses of the cells and their other cliches all set. So the Scandinavians come through yet again, but for once we're able to hang out with them and actually count as having a good profile. The lowest rates of people being willing to do this not so antisocial punishing in those countries. In between rates, number of Middle Eastern countries, a large number of Eastern Bloc countries, in other words, Slavic ones that used to be part of the Soviet Union, Korea, and Turkey. Those were the middle ones. Which ones had the worst rates? I will just read the two countries here that were way up there, a big gap between them and the rest of the countries. One was Greece, and the other were the Arabic Emirates, on the Saudi Arabian Peninsula, where people are willing to spend more to do antisocial punishing than they are willing to spend to punish cheaters. Extraordinary finding. People from Muscat, which was where the university was, those students were more willing to punish someone for being unexpectedly generous than for somebody cheating on a game theory social contract. Totally amazing. So what's that about? When they actually question people, you see things with people from there along the lines of, if people start doing that, of being all generous like that, it's just going to up the ante for everybody. Everybody's going to have to start doing that. That's an interesting piece of reasoning. But when you look at a larger level, what these researchers then showed was a predictor across all these different societies of the rate of this antisocial punishment, levels of trust in the society. Some standard metrics used by sociologists who are interested in this concept of social capital how much social trust there is in the society, how much participation there is, how much of a sense of efficacy. And what you see is the lower the levels of social capital in these societies, the higher the rates of this antisocial punishment. Totally interesting study. 